of our Lord Jesus Christ. So my name is Beauty Mambai, and with me here is Mr. Kalima Kwenda, the former Sergeant Major for John Lane. So uh, today, as part of the media team, we are just going to interview him on how, on the background of the church, the church history, and everything that has taken place from that time to this time. So he is going to introduce himself and as well as tell us the history and the background of the church. Thank you very much. I am Mr. Lewis Karima Wenda, former pastor in Mecha. I'm pleased to inform you that this is a place where we started as John Lang. You know, as we started, we were just a few people. We were about six, twelve in number. We had six from Chawama, namely Mr. and Mrs. Sunny, Mr. and Mrs. Kabuyani, Mrs. Zulu, and of course Mrs. Mbewe. Those came from Chawama, and then from Kanyama, we had the Mr. and Mrs. Karima Wenda, Mr. and Mrs. Jasomba, we had the Miss Lady Dendela, those are the people that we started with. Then from there, you know, as we started, we were just growing bit by bit. You know, I went through in some of the positioning, I was even uh, had the rank of Koa Inivoy. Yeah, then from there, that is time now, officers started dropping into this place. Is John Lenge was growing. Okay. Mm. So, did they just drop in into the same place or you had to move to another No, place? we after we moved from that site, we were given a plot where we built a church where you see now, it's, it's the way you see it now, it was a small thing. And from there, we had to build a smart, small a building that could only accommodate about 50 people. This building you see now, that we built, it's a third building. Oh. Yes. We built the first one, we had to demolish it. Then after that again, we had to build another one. Then again, we had to extend it where you see it today. Oh, yes. so what exactly were your reasons for demolishing it? Yes. No, because the number was growing. Oh. You know, Salvation Army, as we go out for in open airs, you know, more people become attracted. And you see more soldiers, more youth coming into the church. Then the, those are the reasons why we started the, the small thing. We them see that there was more, then we had to yeah, demolish it. Like yeah, it. just like that. All right. Yes. So can you at least briefly explain the officers that came in up to this, at least up to this time? Thank you very much, Ms. Mm. Mamba. You know, uh, John Lange, as it was growing, mm. first we had the first officer during that time was the Major Magai, oh. who was stationed at Chawama, mm. and he was just coming in just like that to supervise or see how we are growing. Okay. Thereafter, then we had the Mr. Chiromba, Mr. Major Chiromba did not stay here. Mm. He was just coming from headquarters. We had also mm. Major Chero, also he was just coming from, from the headquarters. Mm. The last the officer who was just moving was the Major Miss Sangoma. Okay. Those are two officers. Then thereafter, then we had the first officer to station here to be given a house mm. was the he, now I don't know whether it's captain or major T wire. Okay. Thereafter, then we had the major member, mm -hmm. then we had the major Janice Vere, mm -hmm. then we had the, the major Jampanga, mm -hmm. then we have Major Hamwenda, then last the one we have now is the Namadianga. Right. Yeah, okay. you see number of officers mm -hmm. have come at John Lenge. Yeah, and we really enjoy it to be with those officers. Indeed. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm sure all of those officers have contributed to at least where the church is. Yeah, now. we managed here to be there for almost, the, but not the, less than a year. Yeah, there yeah, then we graduated after we follow, we were given a plot that is time now. We left this small building to where we are today. Oh, okay. yes. So as we can see, we are in the building mm -hmm. where the John Lane Church started from. This is where the congregants used to meet and now we can see that indeed there's been a great improvement. <coughs> All right, so thank you so much for showing us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Today he 
is just going to help us and tell us how the people have united together, how they managed to put their heads together to come up with uh, such a big thing. So, Mr. Mambai, sir, we're just going to ask you to help us and tell us how have you seen that people have united in such a manner to come and build a church such as this one? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, for sure, to start with, we say uh, united we stand divided we fall. And as John Lang, we believe if we get united, small in number we are, but united, we knew that we are going to achieve our, our goals. To reach where we have reached, I'm sure we, we, we are united. Mm -hmm. How have you managed, how have you achieved these goals and so forth? Uh, we worked together. Mm. We have different uh, talents, yes. different gifts, mm. so we came together. The one who is gifted in this, mm. the one who is talented in that, mm. then we came together. And this is how we have managed now to work together and reach this far we have reached. So we can see that people stood in and they were united, not only financially but spiritually we are told that people were standing in prayer united. So Mr. Mambai, can you help us and kindly encourage those out there, especially in the Salvation Army, that are also building their churches now? How did you manage? Give them some kind of keys that can help them. Yeah, I think to encourage those who are building, especially in Salvation Army, say, we, the first thing, Mm. is to get united mm. spiritually you can be united but as long as you are not spiritual mm -hmm. then you will never achieve whatever you do mm. you, you are doing it for god mm. and not for anyone else mm. so i'm encouraging those who are building to make sure that they come together uh, so that they can also manage to reach where we have reached that is what i can encourage our friends who are building that they, just, they are doing it for the glory of God, and not for anyone else. Sure. All right, thank you so much. So, uh, that was Mr. Mambai, the current Sergeant Major, was encouraged other teachers out there that are building, stay united in prayer, and everything that you want to achieve, they're indeed going to be achieved. Thank you so much. John Lenko started building a long time ago and today we're going to speak to Captain Sandra Monamatiaka who has been our core officer since 2018. Uh, Captain, to begin with, what's your experience with John Lane Core members? Uh, thank you. Um, my experience with uh, John Lane Core members is that uh, most of the members at John Lane Core they are not in government or these big big positions or um, Jido school school. Yes, many of them must take my business to adopt it, like in the women, but you can tomato, you know, when the am combo, you sour, sour, and then some of them must take to this week. Some are widows, some they are not taking married. So, what I've seen is that uh, despite what the people are doing, what is important is unity. Because when you unite as a church, you can do it. No wonder someone said, united we stand, divided we fall. Yes, so as John Lane Core, I've experienced unity. And the most thing I've learned from the people of John Lane is that they sacrificed. Yes, there is sacrificial giving. Through the small, small things that they have that God has blessed them with, they have been able to sacrifice it to God towards building. No wonder we've come uh, this far. And the other thing I've learned is that we should not, as officers, we should not underrate people. Yeah, when you look at what they do in life and you just see a Goliath there and there saying we can't do this. No, bring them together, talk together. In all areas, the youths, the women, and the old, when you unite together, you see that things are easy. Yes, you can be a David, but you can do it. As long as you work together, you sacrifice. Indeed, God is 
as it is. Yes. We, we do agree that John Lang members are very much united. What other things have you, have you learned from their unity? Okay. The other thing I've learned from their unity is that an, as an officer, I also need to listen to what people are saying. Because when you just say I'm an officer and I've said this, you may not pull through. But if you listen, you give a listening ear. What are the people saying? What do the people want? You can do it. Because you know sometimes people can want something and you as an officer, you want to go the other direction. That way it cannot be easy. But when you have one goal, then you can do it. Yes. Uh, just coming to you as an officer, if I remember very well, if I recall the time you came here, you were, you were just a lieutenant. Yes. You are now a captain. Mm. How is the feeling? How do you feel about it? Is there is there any any growth? Is there any change from mm. being a, a lieutenant and now a captain? Do you do you feel any growth? Any change? Yeah, actually, there's a very big growth in me. Mm. Yes, I came as a lieutenant to join them. Um, in fact, I can say that there are a lot that has happened in my personal life as an officer at John Lane. God has been increasing me every day. I've gone spiritually more than I came. Because why I say so? You know, each center has got its challenges. Each center has got its weaknesses and strength. So even as you go on as an officer with your people, you also grow. You also learn how to handle even issues. So say now, this issue that has come, how am I going to handle it? Mm -hmm. Of course, by prayer yes. and asking God for wisdom, mm -hmm. as well as growing you yourself mm -hmm. and knowing how to do things. Mm -hmm. So I've really grown spiritually, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, socially, mm -hmm. yes. Indeed, we can say Ebenezer. That's far the Lord has brought us. Thank you, Captain, <laughs> for this wonderful interview. Uh, it has been me, Patrick Lucito. God bless you. His building experience. How has he seen things move from where they were to where they are now? So, Captain Sir, you're going to help us and just tell us how was your experience since 2018 up to this point? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I can say it was quite um, uh, a very good experience, mm. very inspirational and effective experience. Um, an experience that has helped even to build my faith. Mm. Um, I remember um, we arrived here at John Lang on, uh, uh, in October 2017 and we found um, the hall that the people of John Lang have already done a very good job. Uh, they, 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 they built the church hall up to the roofing level. So um, I just stayed there for a long time by the time we came. Uh, our focus now is to make sure that the, the hall is uh, finished in terms of uh, roofing and um, making sure that everything is done. So, um, I remember we had a lot of planning, um, a lot of prayer. We prayed a lot, um, the prayer concert, our personal prayer. Uh, we did put everything in the hand of God and we believe that God um, will see us through to make sure that the, the hall is, um, uh, is loose. Uh, through the encouragement of the people of John May. Especially the youth. Mm. They pushed us a lot mm. to make sure that the whole is worked on. Okay. Because um, I think they they were not happy to see the whole for a long time mm. not being used. Uh, we were encouraged to make sure that uh, let's make sure that we do what we are required to do to make sure that the, we provide leadership to make sure that the whole it moved and the, we came in uh, with full force. Mm. It was in July uh, of 2018 when we launched the building to make sure that the, the building fundraising, to make sure that we fundraise towards the roofing. So we mapped up um, the fundraising ventures, different of them. Um, we planned that we need to go to the mall. Mm. We, uh, we go there and sing with the praise team. 
Uh, we also plan to make sure that we do the fundraising more. Um, after all what we planned in, uh, in July 2018, we make sure that we implemented what we planned. So we went to Makenmo, we went to Cosmopolitan, um, we make sure that we fundraised, boxing, and um, all the people came on board to support the fundraising data. So um, we, we called um, those fundraising as the fundraising. December 18, the same year, December 2018, we managed to bring um, the IT, uh, IPA call, uh, the Lord Steel call to make sure that we are losing to uh, start. So we managed to buy Lord Steel call, the IPA, um, where we made sure that the, the welding team uh, starts, um, the designing of the roof. Uh, started in 2018. Um, by the end of December 2018, um, I think the frame of the roof, the, the, the frame of the roof was already done. Yeah, the frame. By the end, by the end of the year 2018, we had the frame. Then in 2019, now we started working on the roofing uh, sheet and other things to make sure that it uh, covered. It was also in 2019 when we made sure that the old hall is demolished. So it was demolished in the, uh, 2019. So actually with the push of the youth, with the pressure that we received from the youth, they would have uh, demolished in 2018. Now we said, ah, please, take your heart. <laughs> take your heart. Uh, we demolish it because if we demolish it now, <laughs> yeah, we have nowhere to, 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 to worship until uh, they, they, they understood. And then in 2019, uh, we made sure that it is demolished, and then uh, we bought them a roofing sheet, and so on and so on. So, um, a lot of things were done in 2019, uh, 2020. Um, by 2020, we are doing some finishing, uh, 2021. Uh, we are also uh, doing some finishing to make sure that they are all the plastering and the um, uh, mending where we are supposed to mend um, the hole to make sure that it starts to look uh, uh, beauty. Mm. So in 2021 again when we started planning for the terrazzo issues, uh, tower issues, the windows and other things. So by 2021, 2022, mm. terrazzo was done. Uh, the windows were done, plastering uh, was done, and um, uh, a lot of things were done. Also did a lot of um, fundraising content to make sure that we uh, we let the required the, uh, money. So I can tell you that uh, we have done more fundraising ventures. Um, but if I may count approximately, for example, fundraising work, uh, we have now moved in, um, uh, into more than the, uh, 40. Um, I think we have moved in all the laws of Osaka <laughs> through um, uh, this experience. Um, we have seen um, a lot of people growing in faith um, because they have seen what God has done um, in the government uh, congregation. So um, a lot of people have um, strong faith, uh, believing that if you pray to God, if you ask him whatever you want to ask him, he will do it. Mm. Uh, and he has done it. And because people are seeing what is happening, and now I can tell you that he, uh, we can do uh, more things because of the experience that we, because it's very easy now for us to fundraise, very easy now for us to plan for anything, no matter how challenging it can be. I think now we can, we can do it. So we need some goal that we have reached at this stage. Um, we can say that even mm -hmm. this is uh, how far the Lord has brought us. Thank you so much. So what would be encouragement to other core officers in the salvation? I mean, if you're trying to work together with your people and build something, what, what, how would you encourage them? Um, my encouragement is that, you know, with faith, everything is possible. With God, everything is possible. Yeah, no matter what they are planning in their respective um, appointment, no matter how big the project they have in their respective appointment, 
uh, they just need to make sure that they believe in God that will do whatever they are asking him to do. To make sure that all those projects, whatever they are planning at their center, um, God will see them through. And the, for us, we are speaking from experience. Uh, we believe in God, we are seen us through. So even my fellow officers around Zambia, uh, in their respective centers, uh, especially those who have building projects, um, uh, I'm encouraging them to believe in God, that God will see them through, let them just plan. What is very, very important is to implement what we have planned. Uh, planning without implementation, you cannot see any result. So we should not just plan, say things that we don't uh, act in line with the, what we have planned. So my encouragement is that as they plan, as they are planning in those centers, mm -hmm. let them make sure that they implement what they, uh, they have planned and God, immediately they make one step, mm -hmm. God will add these other things and then everything will be possible. All right, thank you so much. That was uh, the core officer for John Ling. So this was Bitty Mumbai, of course, part of the media team. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bob. the building chairman here at John Lane Corps. This war, which we are to commission now, which has been completed, was started in 2012, during the time of uh, uh, Captain Genesis who is now a major. It was, we started this war uh, in April, just immediately after Good Friday. The people of John Lange Corps decided that we need to have a bigger hall than the smaller hall we had at that time. But because of determination, though people didn't have money, as John Lange didn't have, <clears throat> because we were determined to build, we started to build literally starting from nothing. We didn't have any coffer, money in the coffer, we didn't wait to raise more money, but we said whatever we raise, every day, every Sunday, we have to make sure we put it. Of people, because they were devoted to that, and were determined, and with the help of God, we were able to build this wall up to this level. By that time in 2012, when we started, I was the core sergeant major. But now I'm a building chairman. We have built this wall as John Lang. Through the sacrifice of the people, built this wall. The total amount of money is above 800,000 kwacha. We also thank the officers who passed through here to help in the beauty, starting from uh, Major Lord Genesis 
and Major Champang, and now the current CEO, uh, Captain Jethro Munamajanga. Salazi, we are